Allah says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ We honored the sons of the children of Adam. We honored the children of Adam. You know what this ayah teaches me? It teaches me I don't have to look for validation from anybody else. I can look for what did I do a good job or not, I should check. We do need to get correction from each other. And by the way, when you value yourself, then being criticized is not humiliation. When you truly honor yourself, when you truly realize your worth, worthiness, then you realize that when someone, if someone is criticizing and saying, hey, you said this incorrectly, or you need to improve this, or this could be better, then they're doing me a favor to help me improve. I don't feel like I'm being insulted. Because when you have really low self-worth, then criticism feels like you're being pushed even lower down. But that feeling goes away once you have value for yourself. Once you recognize Allah has given me value, then you start seeing correction or criticism as an opportunity, as an opportunity to grow. It's not humiliating anymore. But this is one side of the equation that we value ourselves. But Iblis, you know, he's got multiple tactics. One of the things Allah gave us is balance. Nowadays, the majority of the world is no longer interested in educating itself through books or reading or long study. In fact, if a video is more than 30 seconds, move on, move on. And then they say, you know what they call that? I've been doing a lot of research. No, you haven't. You've been swiping TikTok. That's not called research, you know, but we, oh, I've been doing a lot of research into psychology. No, no, you haven't. A three minute YouTube video was not research into psychology. You're, you, you haven't studied any, right? But we, we've become accustomed to quick sound bites, you know, quick, quick kinds of education. And as a result of that, we want quick validation. And one of the things that's happened in a lot of this social media environment is one subject that keeps coming up is self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, which is what I'm talking about too you can take that too far. You're amazing. You're the best. Believe in yourself. You, you, you. Nafsuk, nafsuk, nafsuk. And you're like, yes, nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. You know, and uh, you, you become like obsessed with, yeah, I'm awesome. I'm amazing. And then some parents do this to their kids. You're the best. You're the best ever. You're the princess. A little four-year-old girl. You're my princess. Everybody else is ugly. You're the prettiest. You're the best. And this little girl turns into a monster. She goes at school and she goes, the princess is here, kiss the ring. Like she, she develops this like inflated sense of self. Our worthiness before Allah is something that should make us humble. Allah gave me such a high position. I better put that to work. I don't want to give you this by analogy. You, you know, you didn't believe in yourself. You don't think you're that good, but you applied for a job anyway, right? You applied, they're like, I'm pretty sure they're not going to hire you. You get a call back and they want to give you the executive position way high. And you know, you from what you know of yourself, you're like, I'm so not qualified for this. But you get put in that position anyway. Now once you get put in that position, I want you to think about and I want myself to think about what am I, what's going on in my head inside? Am I thinking, yep, the boss is here. Watch out. That's my chair. Or are you thinking, I have been given such a high position. I better live up to this. I better up my game. I better learn more. I better become more adaptive. I better, you know, honor this role that I've been given so I can actually prove my worthiness. So the, the honor was given to you first, even before you got a chance to prove yourself. The healthy attitude would be, I need to live up to this. Like it or not, now I'm here, I better step up. You understand? On the, on the flip side is someone who gets that position without having earned it, and then says, you know what? What's, what else is there to do? I already got this position. Now I can look down at everybody else who doesn't have this position. Fake it till you make it. That's not, that's not how this works. This is actually the, the, the reality of arrogance. So on the one hand, we value ourselves. But what we actually are supposed to value is the potential that Allah gave us. We're supposed to value the ability to make the effort that Allah gave us. Not the things that Allah gave us. The things that Allah gave us, He can give to anybody else. And these things will come and they will go. But the only thing of value before Allah is, and before, before ourselves should actually be just our efforts. وَأَلَّيْسَ لِلْإِنسَانِ إِلَّا مَا سَعَى Human beings will have nothing of worth on Judgment Day except the efforts that they made. That's it. That's all that's going to matter. So what's the, this, this balance between confidence and humility that has to be struck? Because too much self-worth will turn into arrogance. And too much humility, then you start thinking, I'm nothing, I'm nobody. So there's this balance between confidence and humility that has to be struck. And that's what Allah Azza wa Jal defined as one of the most amazing qualities that human beings have, that Allah gave inside of us. There's the spiritual and there's this material. 
there's this confidence and there's this humility and they both coexist. There's tasliya all the time. And it's remarkable, right? That on the one hand, Allah mentioned dirt and on the other hand, Allah mentioned the ruh, the two opposites. And in between them, He mentioned balance. Like the, the, our entire life is supposed to be a struggle to find that balance, to find that, that real worth in ourselves. So we're not looking for it in other people. We're not looking for it in things. We're not looking for it in posts or engagement or followers. We're not looking for, for worth in the clothes we're wearing. We're looking for worth in what we, what we, what we give to Allah Azza wa Jalla.